we shall pursue the sources of monetary base. Why? Because when monetary base changes, money supply changes. And when money supply changes, you know the LM curve shifts. And when the LM curve shifts, there are significant consequences for the economy. Rate of interest may change, output may change, prices may change, employment may change, various kinds of changes you can expect. That is why you have monetary policy which is trying to control unexpected and undesired changes in money supply or any other undesired occurrences in the economy via LM curve monetary policy is nothing but via LM curve we are trying to control the economy. So, sources of monetary base is very important what are the sources from where monetary base is created and therefore, is liable to change like a river is a the source of a river is a glacier. So, anything happens with the glacier will affect the river it is very important to know the sources. So, I would pursue that discussion on sources of monetary base which I started yesterday. So, what did I write? Sources of M naught. So, I said from the definition that you had recall that the uses of M naught how M naught is being used in economy was that M naught has a currency with the public you can call that C plus some bundle of reserves which consist of I said let us say two items ignore other deposits. So, it has the cash with banks plus the required reserves with the central bank and other deposits RBI I, I said ignore that the other deposits are very insignificant statistically numerically very insignificant number ignore that. So, this is the definition we had earlier currency with the public plus cash with banks which I call currency in circulation plus bankers deposit with RBI plus other deposits I am saying drop other deposits. Now, the question is what we are going to look at to the sources is how is this C and R getting affected in the economy. Okay. Now, if you look at the balance sheet of RBI which we do not have here where all items are recorded like balance of payments account all items are recorded when you exchange goods for other countries and there is a money flow capital flow between countries all transactions are recorded in the balance of payments account. If you look at the balance balance sheet of RBI you will notice certain items which we would identify here as the sources of monetary base. The sources of monetary base if you look at the balance sheet of RBI you will see there are according to my notes 5 sources mainly 5 items. So, you have an item like government's currency liability to the public what does it mean government's currency liability to the public two why is government currency liability to the public is there in India the currency system we have is a very funny one. The notes if you remember I was reading out from the notes the currency clearly the RBI governor signature is there and he is saying something and also it is backed by the central bank, backed by the central government. 
if you take a coin you will not see anything like that. There is no RBI signature one side it has the Ashok Stamba and written Bharat in Hindi and India and a date Nietzsche make calendar year 2008-2009 when it was manufactured in a mint they are manufactured in a mint government currency uh, or currency is produced in a factory called mint and on the other hand it is written what this value is of this coin is written 1 rupee the value is written 1 rupee and there is no nothing. Now therefore, we have a system where partly it is the RBI guaranteeing it current which are notes and the coins nobody is guaranteeing it well that it is written Bharat and Ashok Stamba it implies the central government is guaranteeing it central government though nobody's signature is there. Therefore, the currency love liability to the public liability is a responsibility to the public meaning what why is it liable if I hold a 2 rupee coin why government is liable to me what is the government's liability government's liability is this should be an authentic currency and if I use it in an exchange it should be acceptable that the government should ensure like a seller which does not happen in India seller of goods is liable towards the quality of the good when he has sold it to you. But India does not happen seller as soon as it is sold takes his hands off and say what can I do if there is a defect often it refuses to replace it but that is not the case that should not be the case. So, the liability word here basically means is the responsibility you can say of the government to ensure that this coin when it is circulating in the Indian economy can be used as this for goods worth 2 rupees clear yeah. you understand what I am saying. Achha. Now, So, what is government's currency liability these are the coins coins are guaranteed only by the government central government. So, all you are talking about here the coins the notes you clearly see it is written RBI governor of RBI signature and etcetera. So, the liability of the notes is that of the central bank. RBI in India that may not be the case in other countries in India I am talking about all right. So, government's currency liability to the public will be the coins and the coins is a very small percentage 1.2 1.3 percentage something like the of the total currency in circulation all right. Next net RBI credit to the central and state governments. net RBI credit to the central and state governments why is it net RBI credit to the central and state governments credit is what credit is like loan what is RBI's loan to government well government is often in a deficit situation. You take a simple case where governments are not functioning poorly, but still tax revenues will come in the month of September tax revenue will again come at the end of the financial year March. Now, how would government function without money? So, often what government does it does various avenues it has one of the avenues is it goes to the central bank and say do I have any deposit like savings with you give that to me or if I do not have can you give me a loan there are various ways to get the loan one is called the treasury bill route sell is like selling some bills like bonds treasury bill and getting the loan. So, here when you are talking about RBI credit to central and state governments that means, state governments can also do the same thing take a loan from the RBI and RBI is acting like a banker to the government our banker is the commercial bank 
say the state bank of India can be my bank when I take a loan. Oh, a loan means it will carry an interest which government will have to pay. It is not an interest free loan, so it is a proper loan which in banking literature is known as credit somebody gives the loan. So, net is what because this year this much government both central and state governments together have borrowed from the RBI and also have returned some past loans. So, you will naturally get a net number plus and minus which I have returned. So, the net outstanding loan is this I have been borrowing last 5 years which I have not returned say 5 months not 5 years 5 months 1 year 1 and a half year. Now, I am also returning part by part. So, at any point one needs to calculate what is the outstanding amount of loan which will be a net amount. So, this is another source of monetary base why monetary base changes with well because when from RBI the money leaves comes to government and government starts spending on various things the money is injected into the system. So, it is expanding the monetary base or when government issues more coins it is affecting the monetary base C is directly going to contribute into C all right this is the source from where money is getting affected and if monetary base is affected I will show that to you soon then all monetary aggregates are affected all right. Third point RBI credit to the commercial sector RBI credit to the commercial sector is very important these are things which you do not know, but slowly when the course proceeds it will become clear commercial bill wagara hai RBI credit can come to the commercial sector, which is a kind of uh, puzzling a little bit, because usually banks give credit to the commercial sector the businesses commercial sector the businesses why is RBI credit coming. So, I need to explain that. RBI credit to the commercial sector ok. Various ways RBI contributes to the commercial sector sometimes directly sometimes indirectly. Let me give you an example these non banks which are part of the commercial sector non banking institutions IDBI, SIDB, state financial corporations you know how they were founded they were founded with they are founded like a corporate company which has a paid up capital or amount of shares paid up capital you can open Google and find out paid up capital it is like the amount of shares it can issue and get a money shares are what share is a source of revenue na? to a company. Now, this commercial sector financial institutions have often been founded by RBI and the central government like IDBI. So, in ka jo paid up capital I it never went public all right in some ratio 70, 30, 50, 50, 40, 60 the shares were bought by the RBI and central government all right. So, here is a loan given to this IDBI etcetera, which were found when they were founded from the commercial sector NABARD which has become independent now NABARD was a department of RBI uh, NABARD is national bank for agricultural and rural credit development rural development NABARD used to be a department of RBI like mechanical engineering department or electrical engineering department which was later became so big it was asked to leave like mechanical engineering department asked to leave IIT Kanpur and become a separate institution. NABARD used to be a department of RBI once upon a time. If you go to Lucknow if anybody is from Lucknow it is a huge building of NABARD you will see beside the reserve bank office massive building I saw that when I went for JE work there 
we were on a ramp you know these ramps are there flyovers and suddenly I saw Nabad I got oh I see there is a regional office zonal office massive building just like RBI. Achha. So, Nabad used to be a department now these loans can come in the form of loans sometimes there is a financing facility provided IDBI for some development or Nabad for some specific issue RBI would give them a loan and often it would refinance it when the loan has been returned to RBI they go for a refinance second term all right I give you 100 crores you use that after two years you return that money again I give a refinance this is how also RBI directly gets into financing business. Another way is that there is something called commercial bills which commercial banks are not interested commercial bills are used for um, payments between companies. I cannot pay you now I will pay you in future commercial bill gets created. Now the question is okay you cannot pay now but who can pay me I need the money I have sold you something then the banks come and help them out often banks are not interested or so that banks can get interested RBI gives some cash to banks to deal in commercial bills the commercial bill market in India is very very poor I will talk about that later business house people if they are here their parents would know about commercial bills a father I mean parents means father if any business community person is here I will talk about commercial bill later. So, there is various kinds of things that goes on where RBI directly or indirectly starts giving loan and as soon as money leaves RBI, RBI is like moon something leaves moon towards earth is an addition to earth. The economy does not consider RBI part of it or government they are considered to be outside satellites. So, anything comes from there to earth then becomes part of earth or earth affects the earth that is the economy that is how we think government central bank they are all outside agencies. So, this is part this is what affects monetary base 4 I have written it here separately because that used to be a huge issue for rural development now I have the data I will show you I will put them together that used to be in books traditional books it used to be uh, separate this is RBI credit to Nabard. Five. Acha. Net foreign exchange assets of the RBI. This is most important. Now, in the modern context, net. This you understand what I'm saying. How would Nabard function? Nabard takes loan, gives the loan to banks, gives the loan to farmers, sometimes directly for rural development. That's all. Now it is doing so well it does not borrow last 7 8 years I have shown seen data it does not borrow a single pie from RBI or has debt. Nabard is amazing some institutions in this country which is otherwise functioning very poorly is functioning so well like people talk about IIT is functioning very well compared to each general education institutions in India colleges and universities not functioning well it's just like that Nabard is functioning so well last 7 years 5 years data I have seen has not taken a not does not have a single pie single paisa debt to RBI I will show you the data later next comes net foreign exchange assets of the RBI. Net foreign exchange assets of the RBI. This is very important. And when you will, when I will show you the numbers, that will fascinate you why monetary base is changing in India. What is changing? In Net foreign exchange assets is very simple. You are an exporter. You go out and sell something abroad, come back home with dollar. You can keep dollar at home to show people that you have earned dollar, otherwise, dollar has no usefulness. Then you go to a foreign exchange dealer, get it converted into rupee that what fattens your bank account. 
تو فورن ایکسچینج کدھر جاتے ہیں جمع ہو جاتے دا ڈیلرز اینڈ آر بی آئی دا سینٹرل بینک سو ایوری ٹائم آر بی آئی ریسیوز فورن ایکسچینج دیٹ مینس اٹ ہیز بین کنورٹ ان ٹو فریش منی ان ٹو دا اکنامی یو کیم بیک ہوم وتھ ڈالر دین وین یو ایکسچینج واٹ از ہیپننگ دا ڈالر گیز ڈپازٹ وتھ آر بی آئی اور دا ڈیلرز and in return you get the rupee which goes into your accounts and you start spending it so money gets fresh money gets part of the country monetary base out of which deposit reserves go to rbi some currency goes to people who start spending them etc cnr getting affected source of cnr all right very important why net because there is a drain of foreign exchange also na? when you are buying things what happens you take your fat account money to RBI or a dealer and tell him please sell me dollar so the rupee goes to now reverse process rupee goes to RBI and dollar comes to him which then leaves the country for import purposes goes to Saudi Arabia from whom we have bought oil goes to Germany from you, whom you have bought manufactured goods goes to Brazil from whom you may have bought sugar goes to Russia from where you may have bought wheat all right so net the word net is there now monetary base up to this point is real fun monetary base simple five items so m naught from the source point of view is simply one plus two plus three plus four plus five take okay? it all right 4 plus 5 لیکن ایک مائنس نمبر ہے اس کے بعد یہ بہت ہی گڑبڑی ہے سب ایڈ کرنے کے بعد یو سب ٹریکٹ این ایم ایل واٹ از این ایم ایل این ایم ایل از نیٹ monetary liabilities of the RBI net non monetary liabilities of the RBI what does it mean any time a currency goes into the economy is the liability of the RBI and the government whoever issues that if it is a coin is the liability of the government if it is rupee it is a liability of central bank because the governor signs on it if you take a note out you will see that liability means he is responsible for that note if it is a true note nobody can turn it down during a transaction refuse it he is responsible or the institution is responsible net non monetary liabilities which has a connection with money but this is not fresh currency that rbi has pumped into the economy for some reason the net non monetary liability arises from various things suppose central i can i'm trying to explain this this is not very clear in the books because rbi side doesn't carry definitions so well they carry data it's like a data bank variable x variable y now i'm looking for a definition now what i found is suppose rbi has this amount of dollar now Indian currency is depreciating with respect to dollar so every dollar costs more rupee now that dollar value when it was exchanged against rupee in the past had an exchange rate if the exchange rate has, has, has deteriorated which means more rupee that deterioration means more rupee per dollar 55 56 rupee as opposed to 47 rupee 
two years back what it was or one year back. Then if you calculate the current market price value of that foreign exchange, it will show more rupee. India may RBI diye hai equivalent, but that is not the case. When it was exchange, it was a better exchange rate. Now the exchange rate has depreciated. So, the assets got revalued at a higher price it is showing that you need to deduct the difference, because otherwise the balance sheet would not match. Actual currency pumped in is this equivalent amount dollar etcetera sources will show a larger amount at current prices of gold, foreign exchange all these valuable things they all are included in net foreign exchange I think all right. So, net non monetary liability is that do not think so much liability RBI's has increased just because gold prices have gone up. Turant ur jo kharida tha mere paas se sell kiya tha gold unko bula ke bhai bhai aur jyada rupee aapko milega aaj kyunki bhao baad gaya ye nahi hota hai. Do you understand what I am saying? Bhao aur badega nahi bhao mere taraf hisab ke liye bad gaya to usko kato deduct karo to balance the balance sheet otherwise the currency Indian currency that what it shows and the these these the sources that you are listing on one side would not balance, because the dollar is showing are you must have pumped more currency are aaj ka dollar ka rate na wo aaj ka gold ka rate jab pump kiya tha to aur kuch rate tha to usko adjust karna padta hai this is what I have understood net non monetary liabilities is because of fluctuation in international price of exchange rate gold etcetera which are part of the foreign exchange assets or assets of the RBI which gets converted into rupee etcetera. You understand what I am saying? So, that item is deducted. So, the M naught value that you will get is if it will be exactly matching with the individual 5 numbers added up minus what RBI is saying is the net non monetary liability will match M naught year to year ok. If you go directly measuring M naught through uses which is currency with the public plus cash with banks plus bankers deposits with RBI plus other deposits they will match. If you go adding these up and subtracting there may be a statistical 0 0.003 percent error somewhere, but they should exactly match the numbers. Achha, now, I take your question. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very good. So, keep be careful minus and minus, which I teach my child, my son, minus outside bracket and within bracket minus 4 he is getting totally confused. And you can imagine trying to teach this I mean you for you for adults is nothing who has been seeing it for 20 years for a child I am trying to teach minus bracket minus are baap re baap. Wo minus to kafi tha unke liye uske baad aur ek minus lagaya hai what you are saying is exactly true that is what you have to be careful yes. So, I am teaching you something very important I am going into the deeper things of macroeconomics in fact to some extent why does money supply change because monetary base changes why does monetary base change because of these reasons and therefore money supply changes and then you have the macroeconomics which is already taught to you get into more and more complex models static dynamic whatever. Since 2006-7 NABARD credit has become 0 all money returned 2006-7, 2006-7 is roughly 5 years got yeah. So, this RBI credit 
That is part of public debt, internal debt. Very good. Public means government. Public ki ye na sochu economics mein public jo say for instance Baba Ramdev ko lila chal raha hai Delhi mein public. Udhar mein bahut public hai mera dekha subha mein. Wo public nahi hai. Economics mein public, economics, public, public servant means government. I am a public servant. I work for IIT which is a government organization. Public Service Commission, Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, UPCS, Public Service, UPSC. If you go for IS jobs, you will have your examinations conducted, interviews held by Union Public Service Commission. Public means government. Next is credit multiplier. Let me talk about now slowly the connection between money supply and monetary base. I will slowly get into that. I will start with a very simple multiplier concept in monetary economics, not macroeconomics, monetary economics, multiplier. Let me explain that to you. Credit multiplier. Credit multiplier. When banks give a loan to somebody, it creates a multiplied effect on the economy, which we usually do not understand. And I need to explain that to you. Multiplier, Keynesian multipliers, expenditure, government spends 100 crores. The total impact on the economy in a simple model without taxes or simple proportional tax, 1 over 1 minus c into 1 minus t, which is not a fraction, which is a number greater than 1. So, the final impact on the economy is fourfold, four and a half fold. So, it becomes 400 crores worth of income generated. This was the insight that came from Keynes in macroeconomics, whose parents or fathers or teachers did not have that classical model. Now, Credit multiplier is a fascinating stuff. Now, I am getting into a connection between monetary base and money supply with a very simple thing called credit multiplier. Now, you will understand and what you will see is that the money supply that you hear in macroeconomics is actually a multiplied effect of the monetary base. That is why RBI is aisa khada rahte hai. as if on a giant screen it is watching what is happening to M0. Because any change in M naught creates a, not a ripple, it creates a large tsunami type wave maybe on M naught or on monetary aggregates, money supply what we call M1, M2, M3, M4. That is why they are so conscious about it. Now, I start that discussion the connection through credit multiplier. When bank gives out loan, it creates a multiplied effect, and I will use Mishkin to develop this example. Mishkin begins this explanation of credit multiplier by mentioning open market operation. And let me explain that because you would open Mishkin and you would like to know what would happen, what is open market operation which is called OMO. Mishkin opens this uh, starts this discussion with open market operation. This is a standard method that open market operation you may have heard in macroeconomics that central banks of countries use to control money supply either increase or decrease. What is that? Central government and central bank often participate in selling of bills, government bills which are bonds etcetera, treasury bills whatever. When bills they sell money flows into RBI, so the money supply in the economy falls. When they repurchase the bills they give cash back to the public, not public here government to the people the economy and the money supply increases in the economy. This act of buying and selling of bills, buying of bills would increase money supply, selling of bills would decrease money supply is called open market operation, standard 
method it is a formal name open market operations. Suppose government conducts an open market operation which is purchasing a bill from a bank, banks often buy government bills that is banks think that is a form of investment in fact. Okay. Suppose government conducts an open market operation which is open market purchase of some security sent with a with a commercial bank call that the purchase of security purchases security from a bank security is bill worth this is Mishkin 1000 from a bank from bank say A purchases security from bank A. This is a cash of 1000. What happens to the bank? Bank suddenly receives 1000 rupees. Now, what does bank do with 1000 rupees? Bank the cash reserves are will immediately increase by 1000 rupees of banks. What will this do? R will increase by rupees 1000 cash reserves of banks will increase by 1000 source affected. So, monetary base has increased by 1000 rupees center is perigus keeping other things constant implying m not has increased by rupees 1000. Center is perigus keeping other things constant. Now, the bank becomes greedy give it as a loan it gives it out as a loan to a firm and it leaves the bank bank A and the firm which receives the loan simple example I am giving you goes to bank B and deposits that money. Okay. Now, loan worth rupees 1000 given to a firm firm deposits it in bank b bank b mein unka savings account hai udhar rupiya deposit kiya idhar se loan lekar and it will use what does bank B do? Bank B sees that loan, bank B deducts since it is a loan, it has come through a savings account CRR at the rate 10 percent. So, it deducts how much rupees 100 and 900 is still there all right and this is what bank business is I am simplifying it. It will again deduct a cash which the person can withdraw from a loan all right and then whatever remains it starts gambling with it. I am eliminating that cash that bank will keep on a simple 1000 loan. So, bank B gives rupees 900 as loan to another firm One thousand of the total deposits hardly anything, so it gives out nine hundred part of a loan to some other firm. That firm takes nine hundred deposits in, in his bank, whatever bank it has, 
it gets it through Nabad or whatever, some, some, somewhere it deposits, some bank, where bank CSRA deposit has increased by 900, deducts again 10 percent, which is CRR applicable to all banks, same CRR, because it is a central bank regulation. It is not your bank pays this CRR and his bank pays another CRR, a CRR. So, out of 910 percent, 90 rupees is deported, 810 remains, which then bank sees is a cash available and gives out as a short term loan maybe to somebody. So, the money which leaves the first bank 1000 rupees gets smaller and smaller because of deduction of CRR, but goes through the economy via the financial system into the public. So, what basically happens, this is the last line and you can go home, the total increase in deposits delta D, where D is the total deposits in banks, the total increase in deposits will be the total, the change in reserves that have taken place in the first round change in reserves is 1000, in the second round the change in reserves that takes place because of bank deposits is delta R into 1 minus R, where R is CRR cash reserve ratio plus delta R into 1 minus R of that. is an infinite series. Reserves changed by 1000 rupees when central bank conducts an open market purchase. I give that as a loan entire amount delta R which is 1000. Second bank when it goes, it does not give out loan as 1000, it deducts the CRR and gives that out as a loan to somebody else. The third person second person deposits in a, a second bank from where it goes out to a third person and gives out 1 minus r of that is taken out as a loan. It becomes a geometric series which when you add what will you get? Delta d is equal to 1 over r into delta r. This 1 over r is a simple credit multiplier. If you know CRR value is very simple to calculate the credit multiply. CRR is 7 percent. So, 0 0.7, 7 percent is 0 0.7, no 0 0.07. So, 1 over 0 0.07 is the credit multiply. In the simple world, the world is not that simple, I will explain that, it is much more complex. But in a simple world, where well, there are no excess cash reserves held, otherwise more amounts will be deducted, just not R, 1 minus R minus something will also be deducted and then that loan will be given out. When a bank receives some money through a deposit account, CRR is deducted, but something more is also deducted. Bank keeps some money for your withdrawal purposes. They know your habits, average habits of individuals in Kanpur, how much money they withdraw per month from their accounts. So, they do a whole lot of average calculations and then the balance amount to give out calculated basis as loan.